Drain the swamp. <laughs> Marcus Conti reporting. Drain that swamp. Drain the swamp. Trump said he's going to drain the swamp, so it's one down, three to go. Remember when he said he was going to drain the swamp, but he refilled it with the same old swamp. But today we have a little uh, breaking news. John Bolton last night uh, was, was outed. Trump fires National Security Advisor John Bolton, the guy with the big old mustache. You know who he is, that fucking guy, man. This is the guy. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? John Bolton, step up to the plate so we can see your face. He is out. He is out. John Bolton is out of the park. Oh, man. This shit is crazy. Right? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So here's Trump in his own words. I informed John Bolton last night that his services are no longer needed at the White House. I disagreed strongly with many of his suggestions, as did others in the administration, and therefore I asked John for his resignation, which was given to me this morning. I thank John very much for his service. I will be naming a new national security advisor next week. Ah, that's good, man. John, John, John Bolton's a scumbag, right? But what about Steve Mnuchin? What about Mike Pompeo? What about Elliot Abrams? He's still surrounded by nasty, nasty fuckers. So let's let's just look at who you remember in, in the Venezuela conflict. Listen, listen to John Bolton. The troika of tyranny in this hemisphere, Cuba, Venezuela, and Nicaragua, has finally met its match. Oppressive regimes and ideologies, forces of oppression, totalitarianism, and domination. They worship a false god. We know their day of reckoning awaits. The Nicaraguan regime, like Venezuela and Cuba, will feel the full weight of America's robust sanctions regime. We will no longer appease dictators and despots near our shores. It sounds great. You know what I mean? It sounds great. But he's talking about, he's talking about Nicaragua, Cuba, and Venezuela, who did nothing wrong to anybody other than try to exist on its own two feet. So there he goes, right? So what was the big conflict? Oh, well, let's look at Pompeo. Still, still, in, still in office. This is your secretary of state. I, I, I was the CIA director. We lied. We cheated. We steal. <laughs> the CIA director. We lied. We cheated. We steal. Stole. It's, it was like we, we, had, we, had entire, we had entire training courses. Uh, it... Uh, it, it, it reminds you of the uh, uh, the glory of the American experience. I was the CIA director. We lied. We cheated. We steal and stole. Uh, this is a liar and cheater and st stealer, right? So he's still in office. He's still there. And he's speaking with Steve Mnuchin right now out in front of the cameras uh, on behalf of Trump, who hasn't spoke publicly about Bolton getting getting axed. So what? Ex let's see. Uh, the Post is usually good at the gossip side of it. Trump fires John Bolton, his national security advisor. And they read the tweet. I just read you the tweets. Bolton also took a tweet, <laughs> shared his version of his ousting, which differed from President Trump's. I offered to, to resign last night, and President Trump said, let me talk about it tomorrow. <laughs> uh, Bolton tweeted to the Washington Post reporter, let's be clear, I resigned, having offered to do so last night, according to the reporter. Yeah, all right. So they're, so they're pointing the finger at each other. So Bolton, the foreign policy hardliner, this guy's all about war. This guy's a fucking warmonger. Reportedly opposed the president's decision to invite the Taliban to Camp David, a plan that Trump later canceled. So, all yeah, right. So Trump is saying, hey, let's negotiate. And Bolton's stepping in with a hardline, the cons you know, the neoconservative, the, the war machine, uh, saying, no, 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 we don't negotiate, right? So. So that was one. The pair also butted heads on North Korea. Bolton taking a harsh view of Kim Jong-un's re uh, resumption of missile, missile tests, which the commander-in-chief has brushed off. Trump's tweets came roughly an hour after the White House press office sent out a message announcing that Bolton would join Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and uh, Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin at a joint briefing. It also came 22 hours after the president called reports of disagreements in the White House. Fake news. So, and then, um, let's see. A lot of fake news is being reported 
uh, reported, and I over, uh, overruled the vice president and various advisors on potential Camp David meetings with the Taliban. This story is false, Trump wrote. So there's all kinds of disagreements, but the bottom line is that uh, the bottom line is that this guy is uh, out. He's a warmonger. It's one down, as far as I'm concerned, three to go. You still have to get rid of uh, Elliot Abrams. Uh, m- you know, Mike Pompeo is exactly the same as as this guy, John Bolton. All right, so who are they going to get in? Who are they going to put in? They're going to put a guy in who is more in line with Trump. We we don't know what Trump is. You know what I mean? So it should be interesting who they replace Bolton with. But you still have Pompeo. You still have Steve Mnuchin running the Treasury. Uh, he's a bad, he's a bad hombre. He's a bad, bad, bad hombre. But nonetheless, all right, so you got to start somewhere, right? So Trump Trump gets rid of uh, John Bolton, a warmonger. That's one less warmonger in the White House. Marcus Conte reporting.